y'all i'm back what's going on this be your boy scotty and this is my review on love and hip-hop hollywood as y'all know i had a blast for my class reunion for my very first class reunion it was off the motherfucking chain i'm so tired i barely have my voice but we're gonna get into this motherfucking reunion Ugh. review i've been saying reunion all weekend but um yeah here we go so we're gonna start off with lyrica alexa sky and zell Apparently, Lyrica got um, this talent show that she's about to, you know, throw um, to present her new music out to everybody. And she asked Zell to style her. But at the same... No, 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 no. Yeah, ask Zell to style her, I guess. Or Alexis Sky asked Zell to do it. But either way, Lyrica was surprised to see Zell and Alexis Sky in the same room being cordial with it or whatever. Just due to the motherfucking fact that they were throwing drinks at each other, throwing, you know, coach purses at each other and all of that stuff. It's revealed that... No. Lyrica says that she's been being bullied by Monia... Not Monia, by Monice and Nia, pretty much. I didn't see I didn't see you get bullied, bitch. I y'all, I'm not feeling lyrical. Period. I'm not feeling Crayola at all this motherfucking season. Because she's it's like she's doing so much to prove a point. Last season she wasn't even with the drama. She was just focused on her family, focused on her husband, focused on the music. But she still focused on the music now, but it's like she trying so hard to get an extra paycheck, get involved in bullshit that ain't really got nothing to do with her. So she, so she now got a problem with Monisa talking about she being bullied. Ain't nobody bullying you. The fact of the matter was they didn't want to come. Monisa didn't want to come to the party just because of the fact that Alexis drug her into the bullshit with her and Masika, which is what she did because I never seen Monisa say nothing about Alexis Scott until Alexis Scott hopped her ass on Instagram Live looking like a damn idiot talking all that motherfucking shit about Monisa. When Monisa didn't know her, Monisa barely knew her, you know, doing all that extra shit, and for no reason, like, who the fuck even knows you, bitch, but okay, she did all that extra shit, so now, everybody, like, you know, I don't understand how people can't be friends with who the hell they want to be friends with, and all of that stuff, so it's then it's revealed that Moniz whooped Alexa Sky ass and all of that shit. So, um, pretty much they ain't got the fighting off screen, and we can, and we got Alexa's story, we got Monique's story, and then we got the truth in the middle. So, we don't really know who won, but to me, I feel like Monique's won, just based off the fact that when Zell said, I heard you got your ass whooped, she didn't deny it. So, I feel like Monique's probably whooped her ass off screen. Of course, we don't know, because we ain't see it. But just based off her mannerisms alone, it felt like she got her ass whooped. That's just how I feel. So, Moniz, A.D., Nia, and Ray, they all talk about the situation that happened between Moniz and Alexa Sky. Now, A.D. did not want Moniz to be going out there to meet up with Alexa Sky over some bullshit. So, as we can all see, Ellen DeGeneres is not for the bullshit. You know, she ain't really with the dumb shit. She just like to have fun and relax and fuck off. But, when... Monisa's issue is Alexis brought her mom into it. She brought a child into it. She bringing her whole family into the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like adding more fuel to the motherfucking fire. And at the end of the day, that'll make anybody go crazy. And then, you know, um, they, uh, you know, Ray was like, well, you know, AD was like, I didn't understand why y'all got invited to the party. And so Ray was like, well, I want to go to Lyrica's party because I got a couple of things to say to Alexa Scott because she said that she was going to slap me on sight when she saw me. And then Nia was like, let's all go. So AD was like, y'all don't need to go to the party because it ain't going to be nothing but a bunch of drama. But they all agreed to go to the motherfucking party. Of course they agreed to go to the party. That's how they make their chicks to come to a party and just fuck shit up. That's what they come to the party for. Ain't that right? So then, Brooke Valentine, she goes over to Booby house, and she see that Booby done got him a new apartment, and there's, coincidentally, a glass with some lipstick at the top of it. And the words of Forest Rocks, Mona, bitch, who the hell do you think you fooling? A lot of the times I be watching this shit, and it be looking like an urban motherfucking version of all my damn children. Like, this is all this shit is, is a fucking soap opera. Because all of a sudden, there's a cup on a table with some lipstick on it. Now, 
Brooke want to ask where the lipstick come from. Y'all, this bump on my face has got to go. I don't like that. But, yeah, she um, sees that and want to ask him questions. But Booby feel like she ain't got no reason to be asking him no questions because she still ain't really done with Marcus. And she's not. She's only around here fucking off with, you know, Booby just for the sake of pissing Marcus Black the fuck off because he was fucking around with the paralegal bitch. So that's why she around here fucking around with, with fucking Booby. You know what I'm saying? So then, you know what I'm saying? She said she gets this bright idea to invite Booby to Lyrica's listening party just to make Marcus Black even more upset. You know, I like Brooke, but I think she's doing way too much with this whole, oh, let's make Marcus jealous bullshit. Like, okay, you're breaking up with him. You're taking a break with him, but you clearly keep acting like, you know, out of respect for Keisha, I wouldn't want it to be no more than what the fuck it is. But apparently you want it to be some way more than what it is. And you using this whole paralegal drama as a reason to go off and fuck off with Booby and just say that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't got to lie to Kiki. Period. You ain't got to lie to Kiki. That's just how I feel. Like, it's just stupid to me. Like, this whole little ploy to get him to, to, to be mad is stupid. Grow the fuck up. So then, Nikki, um, she meets up with Tierra and she's having a lip gloss event. You know, she's, you know, she claims that her, her swimming suit line, the lingerie line, whatever line she got is coming off the shelves and I want to know what shelves is it sitting on because I don't know what store is it so can somebody tell me what store is it or is it online coming off the shelves which one is it because I don't know but um you know she talks about that and she wants Tierra to come but she in informs her that she also invited Hazel to the motherfucking party and you know Tierra's like I'll come for you. But I don't want to fuck with Hazel. But she says, I feel like you two should talk about the situation. But Tia really don't want to talk to her. You know what I'm saying? She just really don't want to talk to her. She really don't want to have nothing to do with her. But at the end of the day, you know, it's like, you know, I just come for you. I do it for you. You know, you fuck with the both of us, so I do it for you. You know what I'm saying? So she agrees to come. So we at Lyrica's um, talent show. And, um... Don't Take It Personal is a song that she placed on um, iTunes a couple of weeks ago. That's the song that's playing. And, um, I'm sorry, y'all. And, um, you know, everybody going crazy about that. So, you know, that's when Brooke Valentine arrives with Booby. So, it sets off alarms with A1 because, you know, A1 is real, real cool with, you know, Marcus Black. And he asks where the fuck Marcus is. So, when he asks where Marcus is at, that's when Booby walks off because he feel like, you know, A1 on some fuck shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck? You know, why are you asking about this nigga? That's how he feel. But, you know, it is a delicate, it is a good question. Like, where the fuck is Marcus at, Brooke? You know, that's the one I know you to be with. But, you know, um, Lyrica was like, you know, well, Brooke can do whatever the hell she wants to do as long as it doesn't interfere with my night and what I'm trying to do. So, next day, you know, Team Masika, which is... Moniz, Nia, and Ray. They all arrived to the motherfucking party. And the next thing you know, that's when Alexis Scott was like, oh, here comes the help, talking about Ray. What I don't like about Alexis Scott is this. I don't like her anyway, because I feel like she's thirsty. She thirsty as a motherfucker. And it's so apparent that she's thirsty as a motherfucker. She She's really into this reality show shit. Like, she really wants to be a reality star so bad because she ain't famous for nothing else but fucking Fetty Wap. That's the only thing I know her to do. So, she wants to be, like, the star of the show so bad that it ain't working because she's not likable. You get you get my drift? She's not, she not likable. Like, she's, she's a pretty girl. I can't take her looks away from her. But she's so stupid. And it's so unfortunate that she's so dumb. And another thing that I can't stand about her, she always running up on a man all the time. Like, why you keep on running up on a man? Just because a nigga gay don't mean that he not a man. Like, he's no less than a man than any other man. So why you keep running up on him? Like, first she, first she, she quit to throw shit at Zell. Now she trying to slap Ray. Now, y'all know I don't like Mrs. Puff, period. But I just don't like the fact that Alexis Scott always trying to run up on a man all the time and think she can't get no repercussions behind it. Bitch, some men don't. Some men will whoop your ass when you run up on them. So what the fuck you doing? Like, you really need to quit that shit. The shit ain't cute. It's making you ugly by doing it. So stop. 
So they, you know, they had eight words. And you know, Moniz is defending Masika. And Hayes was like, Moniz, I need you to stop defending that raggedy ass bitch and blah, 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 blah. So now Lyrica wants to get buck and say, you said that you was going to whoop my ass. Now what? Now what? Now what? Lyrica, you ain't even fucking believable trying to be some thug, bitch. Who the fuck you supposed to be, bitch? Like, this would have, that, I mean, I don't understand it. Who the hell do you supposed to be? Like, I'm I'm really trying to figure that out. Like, you really think that you bad or something because you're hanging out with the thirsty crowd? Okay, bitch, whatever. So, Moniz walked, Moniz, Nia, and Ray walked the fuck off. I would have just walked the fuck off, too, because really, Lyrica ain't really worth it. So, at Nikki's party, you know, um, Tierra and Hazel, they immediately get into it when Nikki asked them to talk. And it's because Hazel got a stupid-ass mouth. Like, she always saying a bunch of underlying bullshit. And it don't make somebody want to slap her ass. But what I don't like is how every every time Tierra gets into an altercation, everybody want to blame the alcohol. It wasn't the alcohol that made Tierra want to whoop Hazel's ass. It wasn't the alcohol that made her want to whoop Cisco and that other bitch ass. It ain't the alcohol that made her want to run up on Hazel this time. Hazel provoked her ass, as she always does. It's not always the alcohol. And they and I just feel like they drilling this whole Tierra is an alcoholic shit through the motherfucking ground, and I don't like that shit. Everything that she do ain't based off alcohol. How this situation she might have had one shot, and now y'all want to say her behavior is this her it making a mental issue. Hazel was asking to get her ass beat, and I just don't like the way Nikki trying to fucking chastise Tierra about this shit. Like you ain't saying a damn thing to Hazel, but you got something to say to Tierra talking about y'all don't need to do this. Tell tell Hazel that because Hazel don't know how to fucking talk to somebody, and she really believe that she fucking Beyonce or something like this. Banana nose ass bitch really believe that she on and she's off. She's never been on. She's barely on. She's off. Her fuse has been blown a long time ago. Who the fuck does she supposed to be? Like, really, fuck Hazel. Seriously. And fuck Nikki. Y'all know I don't like her. Nikki, you know, the Cabbage Patch Kid decided that she wants to come to Monisa and have a conversation and come together for Tierra and Tataka and, you know, just to have it, just to intervene. I guess I can give them props for not really fucking with each other like that, but just coming together for the sake of Tierra. You know, I can give them props where it's due. You know, whatever. So then, you know, AD wants to talk to Tierra. She wants Tierra and Moniz to get to come together. You know, they all been good friends, but Tierra ain't really fucking with Moniz nor Nia because she didn't like what they did with Cisco. And all they were trying to do was help you. That's all they were trying to do. But I do understand why you feel like they running it through the ground, like you feel some type of way about them trying to say you have a problem. But the first step to admitting it is, you know, is is the first step to admitting it is the right thing. You do have a problem, but at the same time, everything you deal with, like an altercation, is not fueled by alcohol. It's because a bitch trying it. That's all I'm saying. So, it ain't always about the alcohol. Bitches do be trying it with Tierra all the time, and Hazel the main one. The whole damn cast want to slap Hazel, and they all sober. So, what the hell do you, what the hell y'all talking about? Like, really? And then, AD invited to a party. Tierra think her ass coming to a party, but she walking into an intervention. And now we already know how this is going to go. So, until next week, I'll see y'all later. Um... Baller wise will come out tomorrow. I really ain't in a in a hurry to try to watch them hoes. But I'll talk to y'all later. Bye bye.